So you thought, let's buy Cliff Studio Paint. But this program is so difficult. I've never worked on it. It's, it looks really difficult, but I have no idea where to start. Well, let's change that. Let's begin. Let's find out what it's all about. Let's do an, an introduction. This video will introduce you to all the tools that you need to know. There's going to be a series of multiple videos. So, yeah, let's get started. And I'll hear from you if you've got a question. Well, welcome to Clip Studio Pain. Um, this is how the program looks like. When you first start it up, you get a screen that will tell you what kind of size you want to put it in or whatever you want. And it will, after that, you'll see this gorgeous screen, which is, can be pretty complicated when you first see it. So that's why we're going to quickly get into it. And one of the first things is zoom in and zoom out, which is super duper important. Move tool, where you can move your canvas and where you can rotate your canvas. But you'll see me when I'm working on my graphic or I'm, I'm designing and drawing. You'll see that I'm actually not using that, but you'll see that later. Because so these are also some tools that the program has. Um, right now, they don't really do anything um, because our screen is the way it is. And yeah, you can move your screen around, but it only works with objects. We don't have any objects selected right now, so we can't really use, show this tool um, very well. These are the move tools. If you have like an object selected, you can move them around. So these are the selection tools and for selections you can make like a rectangle or a circle. That's what I'm actually doing here. So I've made a rectangle and I'm going to fill it in with black. The same as creating like a circle. And I'm going to fill that in with black as well. Um, to choose black, I've done that from doing the color picker in the bottom. I just choose that color and that's how I have that one selected. Then I'm going to use like a, an, a like an own like selection tool. And I can just create whatever I want. Like I don't have to do like this or I can just do whatever. It's basically just like playing with the tools. And then you have like a pointer. So you can just like make straight lines and everything. That's also something that works. And you've got like a free selection where you can just draw something and it will free select and then you have like a bigger one. And it will select within a selection. And then it will do all kinds of like pretty crazy stuff. And as you can see, I just filled it in with black. Then we're, we're at this tool, which doesn't really do anything right now. It's basically just a color selection. It doesn't do anything because we don't have multiple colors. Then we have all the brushes. I'm not going to go into those details right now. We'll do that later in the, in the video. We'll go into details on how these things work. There's a ton of brushes that um, Clip Studio Paint comes with. So you'll soon get to know them all pretty quickly. And here I'm using one of the tools to show you guys something around. As you can see, we're in a selection, so it doesn't work without selection, outside of the selection. And to get out of selection, I use the escape button to get out of it, and then Command-D. And Command-D is basically a uh, Control-D on Windows. And it's basically the same as, like, deselecting something. And here I'm using different colors to show you guys how all these little swirlies work and what it looks like. But as I said, we're going into full details later on with our tools. These are just some selections. Um, how it works. Then you got the eraser where you can erase things. And then we have like the blender, which is I think one of the most important tools for me um, to use sometimes when I'm doing a drawing or making a text 
type of thing. I use the blender a lot to do, to blend my colors and use that all the time. And here we're going to get like a um oh, I tried something else. And here you can see that I got like a screen that says that I need to use the option key, so I press the option key and then I basically clone it and it's the same as what um Photoshop does or other programs they use the exact same tool the same short key the same like use that and that's it so this is with um using gradients gradients just work the same way as in Photoshop you can just select them and change them we'll go into later details about how that works I don't really use them that much when I'm working in a program like this Use Ctrl Z because I feel like that's a little too much. This is basically just correct creating like um, text tool, or you can just go like that. And what it does is basically creates like these masks, so they can work within a mask. They got rulers, a ton of rulers, which will help be really helpful as soon as you start learning how that works. We'll get into a lot of details about uh, that later on how to make your own rulers and how to set them up we'll do that later because now it doesn't really do anything so basically I'm gonna go and press escape that gets you out of the tool if it work and then I'm using the navigator to get my screen back on in the middle And here's a text tool. I just typed some random text. Then you got all these kind of weird um, type of extra things you can put on your screen. If you want to like make a comic and you want to get something like explodey or something funny, you can use this to create that. Then you have like a just like the pen you know, like pen tool just like um in illustrator um clip studio paint also works with vectored graphics so it has the same kind of tool in that which comes in very handy if you're working with it right now i'm selecting a different color but as you can see i'm selecting the same color still so you don't really see much of it On the left, uh, right side, I mean, I'm showing you guys what all the different menus are. There's one for, like, showing colors, the same as, like, in Photoshop, where you can see which colors you're using or where you are on the page. Then you have, like, an option for layers. You can put it on monochrome or on color, whatever you want. You got, like, an animation tab. Now, the animation tab is an extra that's only in the EX version of Clip Studio Paint. And you got the history channel, just like in Photoshop. Uh, only one, this one is a lot more um, history back type of things. You can just go back like ages back. You got like quick panel and here you got all your layers. We're going to more details about what layers does later on. And these are all like quick selections. If you need to do like a copy or paste or whatever you want. And then you have the menu called. Uh, materials. This is like an extra thing where you can just put on a material. Uh, right now I have the type of like made my own and put some others in. You can just download these from the Clip Studio Paint website if you want any of those or you made your own you could just upload it to there. And then we have like the top menu which just shows you like how to save and a special colorize thing. It has all kind of tools that you can use. <clears throat> and yeah. So it has like all sorts of tools that come in handy. Like effect tools. But also like how like you're, pro you're showing like your. How it all looks like. And these are like blurs and dissolve and all kind of stuff. Which you can also use during your drawings if you want. And you have like workspace. Right now I'm using workspace for illustration. But you can also change that. 
And then you have like the Clip Studio Paint itself. And on the side, I want to show you guys some of the options that you can do with layers. And that's something that Photoshop has as well. So that's kind of what Clip Studio Paint looks like. Thank you so much for watching and please, well, give me a like or something or tell me you've watched the entire web video and tell me what you thought of it. I'll be happy to know your feedback. So, see you then. Oh, and uh, if you want, you can join us on Discord or you can join our Facebook group, whatever you like. You can talk all things Slip Studio Paint, but also any other program that you might be interested in. See you then.